How about a song? Oh, oh, yeah. Out of the air. <laughs> Play us away. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Cuando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Cielito lindo junto a la boca, no se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca, no se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Cuando salí de Hermosillo, lágrimas vine llorando. Y con la flor del trompillo, me venía consolando. How's Abigail holding up? Well, not too good. You need to We will. The old guy. I promise. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. How are you, baby? Time to go, boy. Yeah. Yep. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Nobody ever gonna take.
take him again. I swear. So, I was thinking, maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Take this fella for one. Man don't just change like the wind, Abigail. I thought you'd have known that by now. No, Arthur, some folks change. And others is just too dumb. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. That's it. See it for what that. Come on now, boy. Yeah. Okay, fella.
How you doing, boy? Hey, stay calm now. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. <laughs> All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down. Look out! Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. For the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Oh, no. 
Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> the one in front of the boat. Bring them back to the light. I don't want them yet. All right. Get after them. Yeah. There. Straight ahead. I saw them go through those bushes. Oh, look at these cowards. You got it. They're heading down the hill to the water. What you did! We can't let these animals get away! All right, I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. I promise you don't want a war with me. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come on! Get him, Arthur! Come here! That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take you for You're gonna pay for this? Comfortable enough for you? Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Yeah, coward. Oh, shit. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed me. Go to hell. She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this. 
this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> Me, huh? Show. Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this there. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tall you, on. you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's OK, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. Okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard and stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. 
I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing Church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> Okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off. And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie? Your auntie's long oh. past prudishness. It's disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, oh, breathing you... woman you got here in front of you? Can't we just get married like normal folks? Married? Don't be goopy. I don't know what to say to you. <sighs> You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, exhumation. there, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. Ah. You're gonna get it. Run along. Ah, shit. I hope this hole's dug. All right. 
right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? But she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Hey, folks. Hello there. And a very good morning to you. How do you do, sir? <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. How do you do? Morning to you. Hello. You made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. Yo, you back one for more gossip. hell raising? Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Not again. Charges were trumped up. But the dark he killed a white man. Jimmy Holding. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But... No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks.
There it is. Grubby little bastards! Get you back to the doctor. Idiot.
missed. Get on out of here. Not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Yeah, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture. He'll be well for a day. Teaching to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. I'm gonna disagree with you. Anyone seen Gavin? It's my turn to share the ball this year. Uh, sadly, my dear husband will be away on business once again. That's special. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Well, uh, I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> and what exactly is your problem? Listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. The English bloke. Lovely fella. <laughs> he went missing and... Uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Move! The hell I'll you take doing? That, pal.
please don't give us no more trouble now, all right? Me? Ah, oh, no. Sorry, you must have me confused. 